people to name a signature move. And I'm pretty confident at least 8 out of 10 will say the Cruyff turn, executed by one of the most elegant players of the modern age. And today we'll teach you how the Cruyff turn works, both by looking at when to do it in a match, but of course also by diving deeper into the technique itself. Because it might look easy, but to quote the great man himself, playing football is simple, but playing simple football is the hardest thing in the world. The beauty of the turn is that it might not be that hard to do, but the factor that separates the great from the good is when the players know how and especially when to use it. Now, Cruyff himself shows this excellently, but also here Busquets against Isco, where it's all about tricking the defender into thinking you're going for the shot, only then to turn 180 degrees on the spot when they're off balance to use the momentum. And as you can see here, all successful Cruyff turns are made when the attacker knows that there's space in behind him for him to turn into. Some people claim that Pele actually did the Cruyff turn first in 1960, although I'm not 100% sure I feel it's a proper Cruyff turn this. But the funny thing is that a guy called Adrian Alston actually did this five days before Cruyff himself at the World Cup. Notice how the movement is swift, controlled and very, very smooth. Because once you've made the turn, you kind of have to make the open space count before the defender realizes what on earth is going on. You can say that the technique behind this consists of two moves combined. There is a fake shot and then there's also an inside backwards scoop. So when the defender is on the opposite side of your strong foot that you want to do the trick with, that could be my left side, you start off by doing a fake shot, but you stop the foot just as it goes past the ball. Then you angle your foot so the inside face is flat against the ball. And then in the same motion, you scoop it backwards straight behind you to make sure you can turn 180 degrees to make sure that the ball is ready to keep on dribbling the second you turn around. The trick here is to keep the fake shot quick and tight to the ball as you want the two moves to flow into one. So remember to raise your opposite arm to give yourself balance as that will help you with the turn itself. Remember that this is not a chop or an inside scoop to the side. No, no, the Cruyff turn is about turning 180 degrees-ish on the spot. So while the other moves might also work very well in the situation you find yourself in, they're not really paying tribute to the big man himself. And also try to remember to do this in one snappy fluid motion, because if you break it down into two, it's only gonna make you look stupid. See? Stupid. To train and become really good at this, I'd start off getting used to the move by simply making a lot of small but smooth turns on the spot, over and over and over. So there you have it, my friends, the Cruyff turn. Many people played the game, but only a few really changed it. And by learning this trick, you can keep the legacy of this genius alive a little longer. But what should we teach you next? Well, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. After that, you can go and cop the Adidas Exhibit Pack, which I've been rocking on my feet by clicking the link to our website right over there. You can also go and learn even more cool tricks by clicking the playlist right down here. And then finally, go do yourself a favor. Join the Unisport Live by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification button to see all our latest videos the second they drop. And with that said, guys, we're signing off. Cheerio.